it's Crafty, Crafty Kids, Kids, and today, today we're, we're going, going to make EOS Lip Balm. So we have figured out how a lot better to make our lip balm. So if you and this the video, that wasn't very good. Yeah, so we made it a lot better. So what we actually you? made one earlier, and so we are going to just show you that, if you could show hold you that. So that's this the one we made. This is the one we made. And so this is a store-bought one. So a tiny bit different in the color, difference in the colors, but other than that, it's basically the same thing, and it's the same shape, all that stuff. Yeah, and it's going to make a really cool dome shape, just like a regular EOS. And you can use an empty EOS container or a Easter egg. Easter egg. And what you're going to do with an empty one is you're going to pop this little rim off of the bottom. And then you're going to clean the bottom of the top and the rim off. And don't put it back in or don't do anything with it. Just leave it out. And what, you're what you'll be needing, needing to make this. That, you're also going to be needing some coconut, coconut oil. oil. Ours looks like this. It's a little really oily kind of thing. Um, you will be needing Vaseline. Vaseline. Extract of your choice. We choose. We chose orange extract. You can. Vanilla is classic, and you can use. Um, you can use. Um, any flavor you want. Any flavor you want, but lemon is not the best flavor to use. And you will be needing some teaspoons. These tablespoons. A micro weavable bowl, Whoa. which is over there. Yes, ours is right here. And it's got some stuff in it. A microwave safe bowl. And so let's get started. Oh, and, and a crayon. <laughs> yeah, you want to need crayon or beeswax. Or beeswax. Uh, crayons just colored. So yeah, crayon yeah. if you want it to be colored. Beeswax if you don't want it to be. Yeah, colored. it makes it a lot easier than adding food coloring. So let's get let's started. Get started. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to get your crayon if you're using a crayon and start peeling it. And if you have beeswax, start shredding your beeswax. Yes. And you, is with your crayon, you are going to break it into some pieces That's and funny. put it into your bowl. Yes. And so your next step is to take your Vaseline. Just open that. And you are going to take your... Teaspoon, tablespoon. Teaspoon. Piece. Teaspoon. Oh, wait. Actually, sorry. That's a tablespoon. And you need one tablespoon of uh, Vaseline or petroleum jelly. One and a half tablespoons. Vaseline is just, um, Vaseline is name brand. So. Okay, and you need one, one tablespoon basically and one teaspoon basically is what you're gonna do. And then, then you're going to take, you need one tablespoon of okay. coconut oil. oil. And we are, I'm just going to go clean ours off while she shows you some easy tricks for it. Um, so, the easy tricks for it is that you want to uh, twist the cap. Okay, so just like, twist the cap up and you need one tablespoon of, yeah. of coconut oil. So she's getting that. And I am going to get And don't our, make it an ice cream. Just make it don't make it an ice cream. Like that. You just want it like small, like flat, like how like you normally would. And now I'm gonna get out my orange extract. I'm just gonna open up the lid. And when she is done getting that out, I am going to go ahead and pour this in. And you are going to need you need one one teaspoon. Only of, one. Your uh, extract. Extract. And it can be any flavor, basically. But as we said earlier, you probably don't want to use lemon. And the orange smells really good. Okay, but you probably shouldn't taste it. <laughs> yeah, it might taste kind of bad at first. So I'm just pouring that in. And the extract is clear. Yeah. Okay, I just poured it into our bowl. And so here is what it looks like so far. It's what it should look like so far. If you're using a crayon, it should look like this, but if you're using beeswax, it just, same thing as this, with just the with shredded beeswax. Okay, and then your next step is to put this into the microwave for one and a half, for a minute and a half. 
and put it in for 15 seconds if it is not. Put it in for 15 seconds more each time if it's not melted. And stir in between. Yes, yeah, stir in between. And give it a good stir at the end. So yep. We're going to go and do that. And you want to make it so it's completely liquid. Yes. Completely liquid. Completely. And we're going to do that and we'll come back when... Okay, guys, we have just finished taking it out of the oven, it and is, ours is very yellow and very hot. It's yellow not because of the, uh, the orange extract. The orange extract was actually clear. It's yellow because we used a yellow crayon, and it would be, like, white, like, closer to a color if you use. Yeah, it would be like this if we used beeswax. So. so that's ours. We had to use oven mitts to pick it up because it is so hot, so if you pick it up out of the microwave or something, you will definitely need oven mitts. Well, it'll kind of be yellow like the actual one. If you use beeswax, it'll look more like this, a white color. Okay, so um, you want to let it cool down for a little bit, and so you're after that, you are going to just screw on the top, uh, screw this part on the top. This She's going to do that. Make sure you do the top and just set your bottom piece aside. And make sure that you screw it on so that um, the top is screwed on. So it's screwed on and then you're going to pop this baby on back on the later. So here's how we're going to do it. So we're going to pick it up. So she's going to hold it. And I am going to do it, put it in by the spoon. So I am just going to use the spoon and like pour it in very carefully. You can't really see us doing it, but we're doing it. So we're just putting it in just like that. And you want to fill it up so it's just over those little, like, dotted, like those little lines. So. Okay, and so after you've poured it all in, you might have a little bit left over, and you are going to go put it in the freezer for about, um... 30. 30 to 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to go put it in the freezer. Hello. Okay. So we're back, and after you have your frozen color, um, well, ours is colored, yours might not, and so you are just going to take your bottom part and line them up, take these parts up together, and you're just going to pop that on. So she's going to pop that on, and and then we're going to twist it open, and boom, you've okay. got your own EOS lip balm. And you can clean up the edges. Yeah, and like clean up the sides with like a paper towel or something. So we are going to do a comparison of the one we made earlier to that one. This one's a little bit colder. And, and yellow. This is yellower. So now we're and going to do a comparison to the, the store bought one. real one. So yellow is a pretty good color because it's a little bit more similar. Like the one that we made earlier and this yellow one's base. that's basically a mix. And if we two. use it, they feel like, like exactly the same. Mm-hmm. So... Thanks for watching. Bye.